Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Steve Buzzer here and today's video is on kind of how to release the club. But you'll notice I've got two warriors in my hand. I've got the big dog and I've got the wedge. So both very important, but both actually have very different releases which I understand can confuse a lot of people because we kind of want it to be as simple as possible but there are quite a lot of differences because we tend to be using this one for finesse we tend to be using this one for power but I think I've got a real simple way of explaining something that is actually quite difficult and the drills in which means you can do it at home so we're going to start with the wedge so the wedge I want you to think right hand so right hand for the right-handed golfer I just want you to make some swings you know we tend to go a bit more up and down you know we tend to release the club I'm not going to feel like I'm getting the shaft forwards so you see I'm making a real nice smooth swing and once you've got a nice feel for it I want you to stop at like the where the follow-through finishes and then I want you to put the left hand on that's the position I want you to be in if you've done the release correctly. When you look at this, you're going to see I've almost got a left arm that's a little bent. And that's absolutely fine for wedge play because we're trying to deliver nice loft and we're trying to get interaction with the bounce. You know, it actually gives us a little scope to not be as precise as you might need to be if you go in with the leaning edge. So, Trying to do this drill and then holding here gives you a great sensation of where you need to be when both hands are going together. The driver, we're going to think left hand. So left hand, and we're feeling like the left hand is kind of going here and it's extending. So you see the left hand, this is a different type of release. So if I do the same, I make the swing and I hold the finish, put my right hand on, can you see I've now extended my arms? We want the extension of the arms because A, it's going to let us like, get some speed into the head, but it's going to let us release out, shallow the contact a little bit. You'll notice in the, in the body mechanics when I was doing this one, the body stayed quite flat, whereas with the driver, we can feel that it tilts up a bit. When I, when I do this with my left hand, and like comment below, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is just me, but I almost feel like it's a bit like a, a Federer shot. Bush! You know, I, I get that kind of sensation. But once you do that, put the hands on, you're going to see a very different positioning in both the straightness of the left arm and how far the hands are from the body compared to quite close with the wedges. So I think do this a few times and see if you can actually build the sensations required and the differences without having to overwhelm yourself too much on actually why it happens. You know, give yourself a feeling to do rather than a lecture on how and why. You know, I want you to be able to apply this stuff so you can find your swing, find your game, play some good golf out on the golf course. So I hope this has helped. Get some comments down below. Is this completely alien to you? Did you think you just do everything the same? Are you a little disappointed that it's not the same? Because obviously that would be a little more simple. Or are you actually happy because it would explain why you're fantastic at one element and then struggle with the other? Hope to catch you soon.